The Meridio 7G is a powerful piece of HDMI test equipment capable of many different functions for integrators, manufacturers, and engineers. In this video, we're going to take a look at the HDMI protocol analyzer software that's found in the 7G. This is a very unique and helpful piece of software that will allow you to monitor all incoming and outgoing HDMI protocol traffic, including 5V, CEC, hot plug, ARC and EARC, the data channels, and the clock channel. This is especially useful for manufacturers and engineers as the data that is extracted from the testing can be used to diagnose HDMI issues, ultimately leading to fixing these issues for a better overall product. The best part is that the HDMI protocol analyzer software is 100% free with the purchase of a 7G. First, connect the 7G to a PC using the supplied USB cable. Let's take a look at the software. Next, we're going to download the software from the Meridio website. Open up your favorite browser. We're going to go to meridio.com. We'll click the products tab on the main page and then the seven generator. Scroll down a bit and we want to click on the resources tab. Scroll down a bit more and there's the protocol analyzer software right there. When we download this, we're going to be downloading the software and the manual in a folder. So we'll click download folder. Sometimes you might get a message down here that says that the uh, file is not commonly downloaded and may be dangerous. You can ignore that. Go ahead and click keep. And then here we will open the folder. Okay, now we're going to take that zip file and we're going to extract it. And I'm just going to put it on my desktop. Now the folder's on my desktop, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Here's the instruction manual and PDF and the software itself. So go ahead and open up the software. You may get this message that the app is unrecognized. Go ahead and click more info and run anyway. Now that the software is open, the generator is connected via USB, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on the generator. Once the generator is powered up, we're going to click this search button right here. And you'll notice that the generator is now connected to the software. Next, connect the HDMI device that you'd like to test with the 7G. You can connect either to the input of the 7G to test incoming signals or the output of the 7G to test how the device that you're testing responds. In this example, I want to collect all of the HDMI protocol exchanges between the 7G and the television. Choose the amount of time in seconds that you'd like to run the test for. In this example, we're going to run the test for 15 seconds. So we're going to go up here, we're going to press the plus button until we get to 15 seconds. Now you can run the test up to 100 seconds if needed. Now that we have it set for 15 seconds, we're going to click start. Now before I click start, I just want to explain one thing. After I click start, I need to manipulate the generator so that there's communication between the generator and the TV. So for this example, we're going to keep things simple. I'm just going to take the generator, we're going to change it from one resolution to another. And then I'm also going to unplug the HDMI cable and plug it back into the generator just to get some communication going between the generator and the TV. So I'm going to go ahead and click start. Change resolutions on the generator. And then unplug and plug the HDMI cable back in. Now that the 15 second test is done, we can look at the results. First, let's take a look at the left side of the screen. This can show you each protocol parsed out. For example, if I just want to see when the 5 volt exchange happened, I can click on parse 5 volt. This will show me a timestamp from when every 5 volt exchange happened during the test. I could also click on parse HDP out, which will show me every hot plug event that happened during the test. If you're looking for specific events, you can parse out anything you'd like by clicking any of the buttons down here in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Next, let's take a look at the right side of the screen. At the very top, you'll notice two buttons, the wave view or the list view. Here you can see every HDMI event or transaction as it happened during the test. If you use the wave view, you can see each event that occurred in real time. Use the next event or the previous event buttons 
to advance through each event as it happened. To see each event in real time throughout the test, you can use the shift left and the shift right buttons. Or you can grab the mouse and slide across the timeline. You can also jump to a specific timestamp up here in this jump to time section. Type the timestamp into the empty field that is labeled jump to time and then click jump. This will take you to that exact moment in time down to the microsecond. You can also use the list view to see the entire list of every event in your test in chronological order. Notice that we can see every event that happened down to the microsecond. If I want to see only a specific protocol, such as 5 volt, CEC signals, hot plug events, eARC signals, or anything that happened with I2C, I can do so by checking or unchecking these boxes. You can see a detailed view of eARC signals coming in or leaving the 7G, and you can see all of the I2C information as well. At the top of this page, click on either of these four available tabs under the detailed view to access this information. You can save certain information for documentation, for later use, or to share with a colleague. For example, I can save all of the information from the list view by clicking on the list view tab and clicking save. In this case, all of this data that you see on the screen here will be saved as a text file. You can also save the data from the test as a bin file for later use. Click on save in the upper left corner next to the start button and save that file to your PC. I'm just going to save it here on my desktop. If you wanted to reload that file from scratch and see all the data again, go ahead and clear the log over here by clicking on the clear button. Then we can load that file back in. I'll click choose file. And we're going to click on the bin file that we just saved. You may have some information such as EDID in the I2C out tab, which you can also save. In this case, after clicking on the tab, I can find this EDID data and click save. This will save the EDID information for the connected sync device, again, for documentation or for later testing. As you can see, the HDMI protocol analyzer software for the Meridio 7G can be extremely useful, especially for manufacturers and engineers. And as I mentioned before, the software is completely free for any 7G user. Just visit meridio.com for the free download. We hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions at all, feel free to give us a call at 605-330-8491, or you can always send us an email at info at meridio.com. Thanks for watching.